Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new to my channel, hey girl, hey. I know I've seen a lot of new people come in lately, so hi. If I'm a little awkward today, it's because I haven't filmed in forever. I don't think I filmed in like, a month and a half. I've been kind of in like a weird little funk lately and I just haven't been just inspired to film and I just didn't want to half-ass it for you guys so I really wanted to just wait and be patient and come on when I was feeling inspired and we're inspired today girl. So I decided to do a holiday makeup look for you guys just kind of like a classic holiday look. I posted this look to Instagram. Oh girl. Not that long ago. I think it was before Thanksgiving or maybe a little bit after Thanksgiving, but you guys seem to really like it. So I thought I would go ahead and do this look first. Um, it's just very classic and simple and super easy to do. I use the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette and I'm super obsessed with it, especially for like holiday looks and super glam looks because it's just so shimmery and metallic and stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, so I use that palette in this look. I really hope you guys like the look and enjoy the video. Um, and I just want to apologize again for not filming in so, so long. I just, I just don't like to half-ass it for you guys. So I really wanted to just come on here when I was feeling it and I was in the zone. Just ready to give you guys 100s. But I've missed you guys and I have a bunch of new videos coming to you guys this week so stay tuned. A lot of holiday makeup tutorials girl so get ready. <laughs> um, but yeah so I hope you guys have an amazing day and enjoy this tutorial. If you guys want to see how to get this look then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is set our base. I already did my brows and everything, so we're good on that area, but I'm just gonna take the Pure Cosmetics Pro and Ishin Ortega Collab Palette, and we're picking up Stripped, and I'm just gonna apply that all over the entire eye area to set my base. I'm using my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush to apply it. So for our transition shade, I'm picking up 1988 on that same brush, and I'm just gonna buff this on the outer V and then also throughout the crease and just diffuse it upwards and inwards so we get a nice gradient kind of effect going on. Okay, now I'm picking up Lola on that same brush, and we're gonna go ahead and apply that to the outer V and a little bit more compactly, is that a word? Compactly into the crease, I don't even know if it's a word. I'm just making things up at this point, but we're just gonna pack that on to the outer V and the crease, I guess not really pack it on, just kind of diffuse it, but deepen up those areas. And then what I'm doing is picking up Stripped again, and I switched brushes this time because we're going to be applying this to the brow bone, and this brush works great. It's an e.l.f. brush. I forget what number it is, um, but I'll try to leave it down below in the description bar for you guys if you want to know. But we're just going to pack this on to the brow bones. Next, we are going in to this Gorgina palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. And I'm picking up Acoustic on my Sigma E54 Medium Sweeper Brush. I did dampen my brush a little bit before I started applying things onto the lid, but we are going to pack this on onto the lid. I just really wanted to get a more metallic-y effect and when you dampen your brush you definitely get a lot more of a metallic effect so that's what we're going for because this is a holiday look and we want to be super glammy and glittery but anyway I'm just packing this onto the lid and then blending out the edge. Next I'm going back into Lola on a different brush. I believe this is the MAC 217 brush and we're just going to go ahead and pack that onto the outer V and a little bit through the outer third of that crease just to define that area a little bit more. So next for our wing, I've just been rocking half wings lately. I feel like it just works better with my eye shape and I just like how it looks better. So I'm just taking the Rimmel London Exaggerate Eye Pencil. This one's in the shade, I believe it's called Rich Brown. I will go ahead and leave it in the description bar if it's something else. Um, and then I'm taking my Sigma E06 Winged Liner Brush and we're just gonna go ahead and flick that out, use a little bit of a flick of the wrist to flick that out and smooth that out a little bit. Then I'm just taking that same eyeliner pencil and dragging it into the inner corners as well. So we're just gonna pop on some mascara. I'm using the Laura Geller Lash Boss Mascara. This is my favorite mascara, you guys. It's so bomb, the formula is amazing. It doesn't flake on me. 
it's just it's just a bomb formula so we're just gonna coat our upper lashes with that and then next for foundation I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury magic foundation I did do a review on this already I will go ahead and leave that link down below for you guys if you want to check it out this has been my favorite foundation especially for like special events or if you want your makeup to last for a long time this foundation is bomb just FYI but check out my review if you guys want to see some more details on it but I'm just gonna go ahead and dot it all over the face and then blend it out with a beauty blender my beauty blender is damp by the way I know some people ask me if it's damp or dry it's damp so yeah now for concealer my favorite concealer of the moment is this one right here this is the Kevin Aquan the etherealist concealer they have like a whole bunch of different colors and stuff they have like a corrector too I did use the corrector before I did anything else to my face I did that earlier and then this is the concealer this is EC01 so we're just gonna apply that under the eyes and then blend it out with a damp beauty blender and then I'm gonna go ahead and bake that area I use the air spun powder to bake with um, I don't really bake my entire face I just do like key areas where I tend to crease and then key areas where I want to pull forward a little bit more so yeah that's what we're doing here and then I'm just gonna dust all that off so for bronzer, I'm just going to use my favorite drugstore bronzer. This is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade Sun Bronze. So we're just going to apply that in like three like shapes around the perimeter of our face. So we get a nice sun-kissed bronzy look going on. And then to contour, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. This palette is so luxurious. I can't even with it. I love this palette so much. The contour shade is perfect too. It's got like a warmy but cool tone contour shade in it. It's perfect. It's like the perfect shadow effect so and then I'm also just gonna make sure that I contour my nose I always feel like I just have to contour my nose like ever since I started I just cannot stop I feel like I look so weird without a contoured nose now but we're just gonna make sure we do that and then I'm just gonna take the shimmery shade in that palette and just run it up the bridge of my nose Okay, so for blush, I'm using the NARS Intensely Blush. This is from their Man Ray collection. It's their new holiday collection. If you guys haven't seen it, you guys need to go check it out because it's so gorgeous. I love that collection. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the apples of the cheeks and blend it upward. Now to get our holiday highlight on, girl, I'm taking the Pure Cosmetics Quick Pro Highlighting Palette and I'm just picking up Sultry and Frostbitten and kind of mixing them together. And we're just going to apply that to the high points of our cheeks and kind of like on the apples of our cheeks too. And then down the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the forehead, Cupid's bow, chin, just anywhere we want to glisten and glow, girl. So I'm just going to be using that. I love this highlighter palette. You guys have to check it out. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm going back into 1988 from that Ishian Ortega collab palette with Pure Cosmetics. And we're just going to run that along our lower lash line. And then we're just going to go back into Lola and apply that to the outer third of the lash line, just packing it on and kind of blending it out. And then we're going back into the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. And I'm just going to pop Angel Fire into the inner corners for a nice glowing highlighty inner corner. And then of course you have to add some glitter to your holiday look. So I'm taking the Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Distortion. And we're just going to pop that right on top of that eyeshadow we put on the inner corner just to jazz it up a little bit for the holidays. And now for the lips, I'm using Max Sore Lip Pencil. We're just going to line the lips and then fill it in. And then for lipstick, I'm using the Estee Lauder Pure Color Love Collection lipstick in the shade Riped Raisin. Such a pretty shade. I, I don't know. I just love this shade. It's really pretty. It's a cream sheen. And it just looks really nice and just classic. So we're just going to apply that all over the lips. And then lastly, we're just going to give our face a little spritz with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray so our makeup lasts all holiday season long. Well, I guess not that long, but all night long. <laughs> and this is the final look. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. What do you guys think? Hmm? It was really easy to create, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have the most amazing holiday season. The holidays are my absolute favorite. When December 1st hits, I am just, I'm in the holiday zone. Like I'm decorating, things are happening, I got advent calendars going, and Elf on a Shelf going, and just the whole nine. So yeah, I love the holidays. It's my favorite time of year. I just, I love the vibe. I'm down for it. I live for it. I wait all year for this time. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new. Hey girl, hey. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we don't lose each other. 
And yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos this week, and I will talk to you guys soon. I love you. Bye.